Ever wondered if that piece of plastic in your wallet could actually save you money? Yes, we're talking about credit cards. Now, before you raise an eyebrow, let's clear the air. Credit cards, often perceived as tools of debt, can be transformed into potent financial allies. Surprised? Well, it's all about how you use them. Credit cards, when wielded wisely, can open up avenues for savings that you may not have thought possible. Imagine a world where every time you swiped your card, you were not just spending but also saving. Sounds paradoxical, doesn't it? But it's true, and today we're going to explore just how that can be achieved. We're stepping into a realm where credit cards are not the villains they're made out to be, but instead they're the superheroes of your financial narrative. With the right strategies and a dash of fiscal discipline, your credit card can become a money-saving tool rather than a debt-digging device. In this video, we'll be embarking on a journey to unravel the secrets of credit card savings. We'll dive into the nitty-gritty of understanding your credit card, explore the world of cashback and reward points, delve into the realm of balance transfers and low interest rates, and finally, We'll recap everything to ensure you're armed with all the knowledge you need. We're not just talking about saving a few pennies here and there, we're talking about potentially saving hundreds or even thousands of dollars over the course of a year. We're talking about shifting your perception of credit cards from dreaded debt machines to powerful saving tools. So, buckle up and prepare for this enlightening journey. Whether you're a seasoned credit card user or a complete novice, there's something valuable for everyone. So if you're ready to turn your credit card into a money-saving tool, stay tuned. We're about to change the way you think about that piece of plastic in your wallet. First things first, you need to understand your credit card. It's like a tool in your financial toolkit, and knowing how to use it effectively is key to maximising your savings. There's a wide array of credit cards out there, each with its unique features. Some are designed for frequent travellers, offering airline miles and hotel points, while others cater to the everyday shopper providing cash back on purchases. Then there are credit cards that offer reward points for every dollar spent, which can be redeemed for various goods and services. Let's take a closer look. Travel credit cards are great for those who love to explore. They allow you to earn miles or points for every dollar spent, which can later be redeemed for flights, hotel stays, or even upgrades. Imagine flying business class for the price of economy. Now that's what we call smart saving. On the other hand, cashback credit cards give you a percentage back on your purchases. Whether it's groceries, gas or online shopping, these cards put money back in your pocket. It's like getting a discount on every purchase you make. Reward credit cards are a bit more versatile. They allow you to accumulate points with every purchase, which can be redeemed for a variety of things, from gift cards to electronics and even charitable donations. But remember, the key to making the most of these benefits is understanding the fine print. Know your card's terms and conditions. Understand the interest rates, fees and penalties. Be aware of any caps or restrictions on earning rewards. And always, always pay your balance in full each month to avoid interest charges. Understanding your credit card is like knowing the rules of the game. It's about making your card work for you instead of the other way around. It's about turning every swipe every purchase into a strategic move towards bigger savings. Remember, knowledge is power, especially when it comes to saving money. One of the best ways to save money with your credit card is through cash back and reward points. Now, let's dive into how these features work and how you can use them strategically. Cash back credit cards, as the name suggests, give you a percentage of your money back on your purchases. This return can range anywhere from 1 to 5% of the amount spent. Imagine, for every £100 you spend, you could be getting up to £5 back. And remember, every little bit adds up. Now, cashback isn't just a one-size-fits-all deal. Some cards offer higher cashback percentages for certain categories, like groceries or gasoline. So, if you're a foodie who loves to cook or you're always on the go, a card that gives you more cashback on these categories could be a game-changer for your savings. On the other hand, we have reward points. These are a bit more versatile. For every pound you spend, you earn points. The number of points you earn per pound can vary from card to card. Once you've accumulated enough points, you can redeem them for a variety of things such as travel, gift cards or even as a credit to your account. Just like with cashback, some cards offer more points for certain categories. If you're someone who loves to travel, 
a card that offers more points for travel-related expenses might be the perfect fit for you. But remember, to truly maximize these benefits, you need to use your card strategically. Consider your lifestyle and spending habits, then choose a card that aligns with them. This way, you're not spending extra just to earn points or cash back. You're simply earning rewards on your regular spending. A word of caution though, always pay off your balance in full each month to avoid interest charges. Remember, these rewards are only beneficial if they're not outweighed by the cost of interest. So next time you're at the store, remember that every swipe could be saving you money. Did you know that you can save money on interest by transferring your balance or choosing a card with a lower interest rate? Let's talk about balance transfer credit cards. These are special types of credit cards that allow you to transfer high interest debt from one or more credit cards to a new card with a lower interest rate. Typically, these cards come with an introductory offer of 0% interest for a specified period, often from six months to as much as 18 months. This grace period provides a window to pay down your debt without racking up additional interest. So how exactly does this help you save money? Well, imagine you have a credit card debt of $5,000 with an interest rate of 20%. If you transferred this balance to a card with a 0% introductory rate, you could potentially save $1,000 in interest over the course of a year. That's a significant saving. But remember, balance transfer cards are not a one-size-fits-all solution. They're most beneficial when you can pay off the transferred balance within the introductory period. Otherwise, the interest rate typically jumps up, sometimes even higher than your original card. So, it's essential to have a plan in place to pay off your debt before the introductory period ends. Now, let's discuss choosing a credit card with a low interest rate. This can be a viable strategy for those who tend to carry a balance on their card from month to month. The lower the interest rate, the less you'll pay in interest over time. For instance, if you typically carry a balance of $2,000 on your card, switching from a card with an 18% interest rate to one with a 12% rate could save you around $120 in interest over the course of a year. So, whether it's through a balance transfer or simply choosing a card with a lower interest rate, there are ways to use your credit card to save money. With the right strategy, even your interest payments can become a source of savings. Let's quickly recap what we've learned today. We started our journey by understanding the basics of credit cards. We've learned that a credit card isn't just a piece of plastic, but a financial tool that, if used wisely, can become an ally in our financial journey. It's crucial to understand the terms and conditions, interest rates and fees associated with our credit cards. This knowledge is the foundation for using a credit card to our advantage. We then dove into the world of cash back and reward points. We've discovered that these perks can translate into real savings if we know how to play our cards right. Whether it's getting money back on everyday purchases or accumulating points to redeem for travel, merchandise or statement credits, these rewards can add up to significant savings over time. It's like getting a discount every time we use our credit card, making our money work harder for us. Next, we explored the concept of balance transfers and low interest rates. We've learned that transferring high interest debt to a card with a lower interest rate can save us a substantial amount in interest payments. We've also learned the importance of taking advantage of promotional periods with low or 0% interest rates. By doing so, we can pay down our debt faster and cheaper, freeing up more of our money for other financial goals. Finally, we've touched on the importance of responsible credit card use. Remember, these strategies only work if we use our credit cards responsibly. That means paying off our balance in full each month, not spending more than we can afford, and always keeping an eye on our credit score. And there you have it, a step-by-step -step guide on how to use your credit card to save money. Remember, it's not about how much you spend, but how wisely you spend it.